This is video file four for Helen Marley. We just want to briefly talk about the uh, fascia and uh, soffit and guttering for the building. Now, it does appear that uh, the, the builders were in the process of replacing the fascia and soffit for the building. I notice a lot of the downpipe, the downpipes, there was a downpipe here that's been sort of taken down and thrown to the side over here. And there were some other downpipes that have been taken down and thrown away. And some of the uh, fascia here, even though it's PVC, uh, some of the stuff over here has been damaged. And it does look like they were intending to replace the whole thing towards the end of the project. And um, because there's a lot of it that's been damaged, even though the roof has been done and finished, I think they were intending to replace the uh, fascia and soffit and guttering towards the end and that might still need to be done you know this guttering is damaged over here at this location uh, the guttering is damaged here as well from the tree the fascia is damaged here along the barge of this gable and it's damaged down here now if we move on to the next page you can see here the fascia is actually damaged here and here and again, you'll see on the next page, that's the uh, flat roof. You can see it's damaged here. So I think the uh, guttering, now, I don't know whether this section of guttering is new or not, but uh, I think other sections of it may have been, uh, they may have been intending to replace it because it's been damaged. Now, the water mains, so the, the property is connected to the water main and this water main has been taken in charge by Irish Water. That's your water meter there. And uh, so basically your water, uh, the pipeline is along the roadway and it comes from the southeast direction. And your house is actually the last house on the line. So when you go further on up this way, it's a new, you know, it's a new or a separate water uh, system and the, the pressure is good. So that's the water meter. So if you go in internally, that's where the water comes into the property. This is in the second extension. You can see here, that's where the water comes in. That's a three quarter pipe. So there's a close up on the next page. Uh, and when you when you turn on the water main at the meter and you turn on the lever there, you know, the water comes gushing out of there. So that's still live. Um, now the septic tank. So there's the septic tank. The septic tank, I uh, was heavily overgrown, so I sort of dug that out just to have a look at it. It is about 20 meters away from the property, from the rear of the dwelling. And uh, it's, um, let's say it's, it's uh, you know, it's not, it's not in great condition, but it's, uh, you know, I suppose it's not in very bad condition either. Um, there's no, there's no smell from it anyway, I suppose, which is one plus. Uh, if I move on to the next page here, so yeah, the tank is about uh, one meter wide and then it's two meter long. It's a little bit small for a septic tank, you know, for today's standards. I have a diagram on the next few pages and I'll show you what a modern septic tank might look like. Um, this is the, there should also be kind of two chambers in, the, in a modern septic tank, there'll be two chambers. Um, you know, there'll be an internal wall and uh, I'll show that on the diagram on the next page, but this one is just one chamber. So it's basically just, um, it's just a collection pit is all it is. And uh, it's that the one thing is it's not full, it's, you know, it's been emptied, I suppose, fairly recently. So that should be OK. This is a, a view down in. There is an outlet pipe. So there's an inlet pipe. You can't actually see it because I didn't take the cover off it. That's an outlet pipe. Now, for some strange reason, the you know, when I look at it, it does look like the outlet pipe is higher than the inlet pipe. So I would expect the outlet pipe to be slightly lower. Um, so I don't know if anything will ever go out to the outlet pipe. Uh, so I would be surprised, you know, if there is a percolation area there. Uh, because I don't think it will be working correctly if there is one. So I'm assuming that there's no percolation area. I don't know where this goes. I wasn't able to find any outlet into the adjacent drain. 
Um, but it's not full up with water anyway. You can see that because it hasn't been used recently. Um, now, so this is a typical example of a septic tank. Now, that's your outlet. It comes in here. And your solids settle out in the first half of the tank. And there's an op here. Uh, and the reason for the internal chamber is to stop too many solids going into the second part. And uh, that's kind of a typical, a typical septic tank. That's, you know, it's going to be two to two and a half meters for the first portion and then an extra meter. So you're going to be talking about uh, three to three and a half meters of total length. So your septic tank is a little short. Um, but, you know, it's there and I suppose it's uh, it does appear to be working you know the, the plus on the plus sides uh, there's no contamination on the ground around it that's visible there's no smell so it does appear to be working reasonably well this is the uh, soil stack here for that's what the toilet used to be in there and that was the soil stack for the toilet and there's an access chamber here so if i go on to the next page that's your uh, existing soil stack. There was a stack on that that's been taken down. Uh, that was basically used to vent uh, the gases, the sewer gases. And I took the lid off this access chamber so you can see it. So that basically goes straight down and connects into the septic tank. And it appears to be still functioning okay, but there's no toilet anymore because the building is gutted internally. Now, this is just, again, I've shown the plan in here just to show you the drainage. There's a back inlet gully. There was a rainwater downpipe, or, well, not a rainwater downpipe. There's a, there's a back inlet gully here and a back inlet gully here. And uh, these were taking, these appear to be taking waste from, or they were taking waste from this room here, which I presume used to be the kitchen or bathroom, uh, or possibly both. Um, and the this uh, water is then piped into the adjacent drain over here now according to the original or the original or the previous owner um i spoke to the neighbors across the road pretty much directly across the road that's the girl who used to own the property and uh when her parents died and then i think uh she got into difficulty or something and then the bank took it over but she used to own it and i was talking to her partner briefly about what they were doing and uh, they you know they hadn't like in the, in the phase of construction they were in they hadn't done the external drainage yet so they had done some of the you know some some of the internal works to the building but the drainage they hadn't done anything with it yet so all of the drainage that's here here is existing drainage and you know needs to be revised whenever the layout is done internally so there's a back inlet gully here there's a gully there and there's a gully here and they're taking waste pipe wastewater this one is probably coming down and you know uh, is probably coming down and going into the aj because i can see something coming into the aj and that goes to the septic tank this one here uh, was taking waste water from somewhere and appears to be just going straight into the drain it shouldn't do any waste pipe like that should just go all into the septic tank and um, there's another one over here which is uh rainwater there's a, a gully with a rainwater downpipe and that surface water can go into the drain but i'm not sure where any of that's going so um that all needs to be looked at um when you're on site now just at the rear of the property again i'm just going to point out that uh, there's a lot of kind of decorative stone or decorative gravel at the rear of the property i pulled away a lot of vegetation and you can see it and the owners the previous owners were telling me that um that uh was just decorative stone that they were using to landscape the garden at the back the phone signal i did check the phone signal the phone signal is very good inside the dwelling so it's H plus phone signal. I mean, basically I could look at YouTube videos and watch them in real time without any delay. So the phone signal was good, uh, con considering the location is really um, quite isolated. Now for Appendix A, I included the Appendix A. This is really for uh, when you're renovating an old house, 
um, in particularly stonework but really if you're renovating an old house that has kind of uh, solid walls you can often run into problems with uh, dampness now there's no you know it's a fairly dry house your house there's not that many problems with dampness uh, except the ones that I discussed but these are good uh, guidelines for how to deal with uh, an older an older house where you've got solid walls and one of them in particular is providing um, land drains around the dwelling to stop um, moisture getting into the building so have a read through that and it'll give some guidance as to um, you know what you would do when you're renovating a building uh, so that's about the end of it there I mean obviously you know there's only so much detail I can go into uh, the house is viable for renovation certainly and um, if you have any more problems or you want any more questions or you want to go into detail on anything you can uh, give me a buzz and I will be happy to discuss it with you all right and the best of luck